Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, fishy baby? What's up, water babies? How are y'all doing? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Um, I would like to thank everyone for all of their likes, shares, subscribes, comments, the love. I appreciate it. I truly, truly does. Okay? Um, also, uh, for those of you who are looking to book a personal reading um, for the month of, um, well, Cancer season and Leo season, y'all are going to be $40 only if you are a Cancer. Or a Leo. So if you happen to be cross watching for Pisces and you are a Cancer or a Leo, forty dollar reading specials for everyone else. The reading special still does remain the same. I apologize. It's me giving back for the birthdays. Also, I will be doing a live session Q and A. So I'm gonna name it Q and A. So if you see that pop up on your uh notifications don't miss that okay because mocha super chats have opened up so it's my way of um maybe everybody can't get to me personally to answer you know personal questions okay maybe some people just be wanting one question so it's my way of um kind of receptivity reciprocity okay giving back all right because y'all give me so much love i will be doing q a i said i'm just gonna only answer like 10 questions between right now it's between 10 and 15 um and it'll be like one card, maybe two card in uh, questions, or two card pools for a question, okay? And I'm going to randomly pick people who are on the live, okay, who are asking questions. So make sure y'all catch that and tune into that. Also, um, oh, this is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watches of Pisces. I don't like long intros because I'm already trying to shuffle on camera, okay? Um, so if you need a person reading, I am fully available. I only book within 24 hours out, so I never allow myself to get backed up like that um, unless I have something to do, and I'll tell you that, you know, from the initial email. Also, um, I think that's all my announcements. <laughs> so this will be from mid-month July, from the 15th to the 31st of July. Um, it's general and may not resonate. Take what does. If it does not, please check your sun, moon, rise, check everything, okay? Um, but just don't come for me, all right? So let's get it, all right? So spirit, angels, what messages do you have for my Pisces? I did already pull y'all angel messages as well as a dream from Gaia's uh, oracle card. So I will be giving y'all that, okay? So I'm sorry. Thank you, Spears. So we have Pisces. Thank you. 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 I'm sorry. Thank you, spirits. So turn it up right. Thank you. Okay. Pisces, intuitively, I feel it has a little bit to do with the cards I see, but intuitively, strongly, I feel foundations are tearing down for firm ones to be rebuilt. So if you've been with somebody three years, 12 years, 10 years, 20 years, some of those foundations around you and a lot of things, jobs, people, all the knowledge, people, places, things, a lot of things are crumbling around my Pisces, okay? I want you and spirit wants you, God wants you not to fret. Do not fret, Pisces. Just know, believe in yourself and just know that a new beginning is upon you, okay? And for some of y'all, that new beginning is of your wildest dreams. You're going to look at your life possibly a year from now and be like, what the heck? Everything you could possibly desire, your heart is coming for you if only you choose to let go of the old that is undesiring to you. I love y'all. All right. So this is what I got for Pisces, all right? From the 15th to the 31st of July, I kind of want to cry right now. I don't know why, but y'all stand firm, okay? Hold it together. Don't lose your shit, okay, Pisces? Um, it's all, it's going to turn around beautiful. A lot of y'all got one more fight in y'all, okay? Y'all are healing, okay? Some of y'all are healing from a situation with a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of y'all, it's air, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like away from the signs, a lot of y'all are healing from a situation, okay? Or trying to, y'all pretty, like I said, trying not to lose your shits, 
simple like that. I can't even sugarcoat it, all right? Some of y'all trying not to lose your shits, okay? Because you know that a cycle in your life is ending, okay? You've been trying to hold this together, especially for the last four years for y'all. A lot of y'all prominently, y'all been trying to hold this, whatever this is, together, okay? But some of y'all is with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel like there's, internally, you're kind of conflicted because you know that you're missing opportunities. You know that you've been putting you aside for so long, compromising with other people and trying to hold shit together, but a lot of y'all don't know how much more y'all can take. I want y'all to know y'all got one last fight, and that last fight at the 10 is going to be hella worth it to put down them damn burdens, okay? It's going to be hella worth it if only you would know that and believe that. You got to have a little bit more faith in what a lot of y'all have, okay? I understand that when shit gets to crumbling, or I have a Pisces moon, so I'm going to tell y'all something. This is why I feel like I want to cry, because the intuitive message that I got for Pisces, y'all, that's my life. You know what I'm saying? So when I connect to y'all, this is a journey for me as well. I can only give you authenticity. I can only give you the full me. I ain't always had it. Hell, I ain't. I wish I was balling now, okay? But I'm not. I piece it together. I mean, I have everything that I want, but Mocha has everything that she needs. You understand? Do not let anybody crush your self-esteem because you feel like you don't have enough to keep a person because this is what I see. You understand? You are sexy. You are beautiful. You are healthy. You are wealthy. You are financially blessed. You have everything your heart can desire. Gratitude is the attitude. A lot of y'all are working on the law of attraction and you don't even know it. From the 15th to the 31st of May, Pisces finna put these damn burdens down and actually heal for Pisces. Fuck what everybody else going through. What about me? Heal for me. It's my time. So if you've been feeling like you selfish for feeling like that, you are absolutely not. You're not. Okay? That's for about 60% of y'all. You're not. Some of y'all are in a situation with, uh, with someone you have children with from the 15th to the 31st. And in the midst of ending that cycle with this person and walking out the door with this earth sign, strongly I feel, or fire sign. Some of y'all might be finding out that someone's pregnant. This could be you. I have men that watch me too, so it could be uh, the other person as well, okay? Some of y'all, y'all trying to hold on to your money, to your abundance, okay? And some of y'all are trying to hold on to someone and have somebody holding on to you strictly for money, especially if you tied to earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. A lot of y'all are now or will be, y'all, I feel like it started at the beginning of this month, but from the 15th to the 31st, y'all are going to trust y'all intuition and stop putting down this internal conflict as well. Y'all going to stop fighting y'all selves, okay? Because in order for you to get the karmic justice that you deserve, but some of y'all, y'all dealing with a Libra, okay? For you who are dealing with that Libra, I feel like this person burdens the hell out of you, okay? And on the cool, they burden you because... For some of y'all, you're not trusting your intuition because I feel like your dreams, everything, your premonitions, your subconscious is literally screaming at you, I'm ready to go. But you holding on to this, possibly because you have children with this person, but you don't have to hold on to someone. You damn sure can't keep somebody who ain't wanting to be killed, okay? Know that. Put this down because karmic justice is here to assist you, Pisces. Okay, when you lose everything, and I mean everything, and yes, y'all are very intuitive, so you feel all this passion. When you lose everything, because it's a sad energy that I feel here, and I couldn't cut it off if I wanted to. But I want y'all to not look at this as a sad situation. Nobody's opinion will ever, 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 ever amount to what your value is. You are what you answer to. You understand? You are what you answer to. And look at it like this. If you never looked at it from no different perspective. When you seem to lost everything, what else is there to go but up? Okay? Don't hold on to nobody out of self-confidence and feeling like, oh, well, if I don't give to this person, they're going to go. Let their ass go. Bye. Karma trying to show them something. Mother, come on the move, Pisces. And intuitively, you standing in the way. That's why. That's why. You feeling this internal conflict. Okay? Sis. Oh, this is a lot of women who got kids. 
don't want to get y'all out of my penny, yo, but it's a lot of y'all. Sis, you going to be okay. You okay. You okay. Know thyself. Love thyself and trust thyself. You okay. This is heavy, y'all. I love y'all so much, and I don't want y'all to feel this heaviness because it's a lot of heaviness, and I feel like this is women who I'm talking to. If you are happy, choose happiness definitely, okay? So on the situation, on the situation, okay, I was only clarifying the nine of pentacles, okay? But on, I was finna actually, act technically, I was gonna, it, it should clarify just the nine of pentacles, but it fell in the middle of the nine of pentacles and the four of pentacles, okay? Some of y'all definitely hold on to a Taurus due to financial security. You want to be financially stable. Maybe you're not trusting yourself that you'll be okay without this person, okay? But some of y'all, some of y'all are holding on to a marriage because of money, okay? Or you have children with this person, okay? A lot of y'all are not trusting your intuition with the high priestess that y'all have to walk away from this. You have to walk away from this. You will be walking away from this, okay? A lot of y'all going to be moving away from a Scorpio, all right? But some of y'all are transforming. This is a part of your transformation. You have to choose yourself in this. Your justice comes when you pick you because you have every resource that you need to turn your situation around. If only you trust and believe in that, okay? All right. Clarify this five of wands. All right. I got the seven of pentacles. So some of y'all are internally conflicted on if you want to keep this shit up and walk away. Do I want to keep this? Do I want to keep going or do I want to move away from this? Okay, it's a lot of earth and fire in this reading. Four of pentacles. Okay, some of y'all want to move away from the person who you've been dealing with from the past. That's possibly a water sign or earth sign. You will be moving away from them. Okay, from the 15th to the 31st, a lot of y'all are internally conflicted by it now. But between mid, mid month, July, you will be moving away from this person. Sorry to tell you. Oh my God. All these cards fell. And I'm going to take every last one of them that's turned up because it all fell on the wheel of fortune. I got a whole damn reading down there on the wheel of fortune, y'all. I'm going to take every one of them because I was going to put them back in the deck and Spirit said, do not. Hold on. Okay. This is what fell for your will of fortune. You end in a cycle, y'all, to walk into this. I'm going to show you one by one this. New money. You have you deserve this because you've given it. It's time for you to receive your Ten of Pentacles. Happy wife, happy life, happy family, and finances. New cycles y'all are walking into instead of doing it unhappiness. You just have to be patient and trust in yourself. But some of y'all is definitely involved in a Sagittarius or another Pisces like yourself. But I feel like this is talking to Pisces. Pisces, if you just end this cycle and just know that this is what I have coming to you, just trust me. Okay? God is screaming to you. I am God. Trust me. Because you got new coming. For some of y'all, y'all went out and made a mistake. I'm, gonna, I'm talking to about a good 10% of y'all now. That's going to get real. Some of y'all went out and made a mistake. Y'all had a family situation out of a three-party situation, which ends up being a catalytic situation to let this person go. But what you don't know is, if you just let him go and stop trying to fight the shit, this new new here comes with ten of pentacles. It comes with financial stability, moving new, okay, new new, and victory. Some of y'all turn around a situation with the fire sign who you have children with, who maybe y'all went through a long cycle of not communicating, shit being tumultuous, and shit not being equally balanced, okay? That's coming to a that's coming to a change. Now this person is gonna be coming in from the fifteenth to the thirty first to fix shit. Okay? Now they didn't got their mind right where they can offer you that love, all right? Or maybe y'all wanna do this to an Aries Leo Sagittarius, okay? <clears throat> But y'all got to get away from earth or water first. What is this empress? Why is the empress here? Moving away. Moving away from tumultuous waters. Moving away. Letting shit go. Dropping those burdens. And going to fulfillment. 
your wish. You called this in. So because you called it in, you can't control how the hell it's going to play out. You're just supposed to know that it is going to play out. I see. Now, I want y'all to think I'm, y'all, I know y'all don't think I'm fussing with y'all because y'all know Mocha is very passionate. I'm an Aries. I love hard. And because I love y'all, I love God. I love what I do. And I want to see all my family win. Yeah, I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass, but I'm on your ass from a place of love. Pisces, y'all know the difference. Because I feel like the, what I feel, I wouldn't wish this on my, y'all internally, you being, you literally, I'm on your ass because I feel you being, you standing in your own way to greatness. Self-doubt, the confidence, healing, this four swords, take this time to look yourself in the mirror every day and say, I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am prosperous, everything I want is mine. Fill you back up. Love on you for a second. And don't fight with the blessings that's coming in. Don't block your own blessings because they damn sure coming. You can't stop them. That's why I, all this hell is going on. Because you got so much, y'all finna have so much abundance around you, you're not even going to know where to put everything. Give back though. Give back to those who have shown you who they are in the midst of your struggle. Know that. I'm speaking to 75% of y'all with that one. Okay? It's Knight of Pentacles. In the midst of you healing, some of y'all are literally burdened as fuck, okay, or carrying the burdens of someone else, this Knight of Pentacles, okay? And they're giving y'all an offer, however, but it's not stability. I feel like somebody is dealing with the situation instead of being happy with the situation. And you're unhappy in doing so. Pisces. What is this Four Swords energy? That's damn healing from carrying all them damn burdens. Put them down. When you put them down, love you. When you put them down, love you. When you put them down, love you. And stop trying to hold on to shit. Stop trying to hold on to this earth sign. Because it's definitely a Taurus involved in here. Virgo Capricorn. It's definitely a Scorpio in the play in this place. Okay? It's definitely a damn Gemini Libra Aquarius. Strong emphasis on the Libra and the Aquarius in this place. Stop holding on to people, situations, things that aren't worth being held on to. And they've shown you that. If they show you who they are, believe them. Get out of this energy and know that this energy, baby, justice, baby, karmic justice, okay? The scales is going to balance equally if only you trust that they will, okay? This is what I'm telling you. This is why Mocha is speaking so passionately because... This heaviness, now that I got it out, I don't feel heavy. And I know that once we get to this, when whoever views this whole video and gets to this point, the heaviness is going to dry up. Because you already, y'all, intuition, you know this. You didn't, the most 90% of y'all didn't seen it in your dreams. You know this. You know it. But you loyal, though. Loyalty should first start with self. Because think about the person who you holding on to. Are they loyal to themselves? Do they give to everybody else and that's why they ain't got to give to you like that? Why you keeping yourself on that? Are they loyal to themselves? If a person cannot give love to themselves, how will they love you? If you vice versa, if you ain't loyal to yourself, why are you going to love somebody right? It starts with you. You are the creator of this journey. You are the creator of the things that go on and the things that you grasp and comes to you. The law of attraction is working for you, Pisces. Know this, okay? Y'all are really manifesting at a fast rate. The way it's coming in, you can't always control that shit. They, we, we puppets. We just, we are the, look, we own the strings. We don't pull them. Okay? I pulled through the dreams of Gaia. I got the ace of, this will be the ace of fire. Okay? Dreams of Guy Tarot. Again, new, passionate new, divine new. Look at that. Balanced new. You see how all them stars and all them lightings are covered around it and it's all on the inside? It starts from here. It starts from within you. So you know that yeah, this is the this is the right one to accept. This is what I this is where I should be at. This is where I should be moving. Because a lot of y'all all y'all feel like y'all supposed to be somewhere and you just don't know where else. New news coming to you. Doreen Virtue. Okay, I got pulled two. Actually, I was trying to pull one, but two failed. Okay, 
So I got rose quartz. A lot of y'all who practice crystal work, this is a nice time to have rose quartz around you, okay? Uh, carry them with you in your pocket. They kind of enhance love, okay? They signify love. That's kind of what's kind of helpful as far as attracting, drawing in love, okay? True love. It's funny because I got love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. New, new, Pisces. New, new. This says new or renewed, okay? But in order to renew something, even with this, I feel like the renewed situation is who I was talking to about the family, the family situation that y'all intuitively know is coming back. It's fixed. Why are you in your head about it? And even if it ain't fixed, you've been a soldier thus far. What you lost? You're welcome, sis. Because <laughs> that was for somebody particular. She gonna know. She gonna come in because that's one of my babies. I've seen it. You're welcome, sis. As you're right, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care, self love, baby. Drop them like this. Bye, bitch. Heal. Healing is here, Pisces. A lot of y'all are going to be very moving forward victoriously with a fire sign. Some of y'all. The fact that I got the Hierophant and the Justice card in one reading. Some of y'all karmically, karmically the seeds that you sown, they on the way. Everybody can't eat it the one in a circle though. Know that. Forgive. I ain't telling you forget shit, but don't carry it. Okay? That's what I have for y'all from the 15th to the 31st of July. I love y'all, my babies. I truly, truly do. And if y'all need a personal, please hit me up, okay? Um, this is just general. Like I said, it may not apply to everybody. But my angel said I was talking to a lot of y'all. So hit me up if you need a personal reading since I am available, okay? Um, y'all make sure y'all catch the Q&As. And I love y'all, my babies, until August.